Thank you for choosing Katzman Monument Company, makers of fine memorials since 1935, and now your premier online memorial website. This illustration will take you through the simple step-by-step -step process of using our online design center to customize a monument. To do so, click on the Customize a Monument button. You will be given preliminary information which you should read prior to customizing your memorial. The first step in the process is to select the shape of your monument. We have oval top, serpentine top, flat top, beveled, rooftop, and pagoda. For purposes of this illustration, we'll choose serpentine top. Once you've made a choice, you'll always want to click Next in the upper right corner. You'll also notice that there is a button called Link. This will enable you to save your work and share it with family and friends. Let's click Next. Once your shape choice has been made, you'll want to pick out the type of granite to be used on your memorial. Our granites come either polished or in a steel or matte finish. For purposes of this illustration, we'll choose Morning Rose Polished. After you've made your granite choice, you can see a larger swatch of it to the left. Let's click Next. Once you've selected your granite, we'll want to know whether we're designing a monument for one person, a single, or for two, a companion monument. We'll choose Single and click Next. Once we've done that, we need to choose the size of our memorial. Every monument is made up of an upper portion, or the die, and a lower portion called the base. We'll choose this size combination right there. Once the size has been chosen, the estimated cost of your memorial will begin to appear in the lower center portion of the screen. In the lower left-hand portion of the screen, the selections you've made will start to accumulate. Let's pick Next. Once we've done those choices, we'll now need to pick the finish of the edge and top sides of the monument. It will either be rough or rock edged on the top and the side, smooth on the top, rough on the side, or smooth on both. On the base portion of the monument, it will either be rough all the way around, or a combination of rough near the grass with a smooth two inch margin around the top. Either way, for the base, we recommend having a rough rock-edged portion next to the grass so that if the maintenance lawn equipment at the cemetery happens to bang in and chip your monument, it will not be noticed. We'll choose the smooth rough combination for the die and the 2-inch smooth margin for the base and click Next. Every monument, in addition to having the inscription, usually has some artwork or carvings. For this particular monument, there are five locations where carvings typically appear. The upper right and left corners and the top and bottom middle. Once we click on an area, the available artworks show up. For this particular area, we'll choose some flowers. For the corresponding right, we'll choose the mirrored image of that. If you do not want a carving to appear, just click No Carving. If you have something custom, you can click on that and you can email it to us and we will have our art department make it for you. For the lower portion, we'll click another selection of flowers and then we'll click Next. Once the carvings have been chosen, we'll want the basic information for the inscription. First off, there are three choices of fonts, script, Latin, Mar Latin Modern Roman and Vermarco. We'll choose Latin Modern Roman. We'll want the decedent's name. And an endearment, an epitaph, and a date of birth and death. Once you type it, you'll notice that it will begin to appear on the monument. Let's click Next. Some people also want the family name to appear on the reverse side of the monument. If that is the case, just click this box. 
Once you do that, there are two ways that name can appear. Whichever one you like, click it. If this monument happens to be made for someone of the Jewish faith, you'll want to also click the bottom box. If that is the case, on the next page, we will require some additional information for the Hebrew inscription, which will appear on the monument. Please fill out all the information and click Next. Some people also would like some vases to appear on the monument. They can either be on the left, the right, or both, or none. They are either metal or granite. If you choose granite, it will be made out of the type of granite of your monument. For this illustration, we'll choose a vase for both sides and granite, and we'll click Next. That brings us to the conclusion of our online design process. In order to move forward, we ask that you read the cemetery rules and regulations. That is very important as all cemeteries have their own rules and regulations. Please read it and check the box. We will then require a 50% down payment on your memorial. The total estimated cost appears at the bottom. The 50% portion due now appears right above that. Check that you understand that. If you would like an interactive memorial, you can check on that. An interactive memorial, if you're not familiar with that, is a QR code which is similar to a barcode which would be adhered to the monument. That can be then scanned with a smartphone or similar device which will take you to a web page where you'll be able to enter in photos and information and videos and all kinds of other information on your loved one. You can click on the interactive memorial link to get more information. If you refer to Katzman, we ask that you please enter who that is there so that they may receive credit for the referral. Once you've completed these steps, click on the Buy Now. You will then be directed to a checkout page where we can collect payment information. Thank you again for choosing Katzman Monument Company. If you have any other questions and need to reach us, you may call us toll free at 866-862-4660. Again, thank you for using Katzman Monument Company.